So a few weeks ago, an audio company contacted me, Fossi Audio, asking if I would be interested in reviewing this product. This is the Fossi Audio TP10D. And although it's made primarily for UMIFI audio systems, I believe it has the potential of being a handy tool for a sound engineer, especially if you're a beginner. So let's take a look at it. The Fossi Audio TP10D is a compact hi-fi stereo audio amplifier that packs a lot of power and features into a small package. It comes in this box and the unboxing experience is boring. You have the user manual, amplifier and the power supply adapter. Boring. This adapter is very well built and has an output rating of 32 volts and 5 amperes. The TB10D has a sleek and a modern look with a black aluminum casing that feels very solid and well built. Now it's small enough to fit on bookshelves and on a desk but its compact size doesn't affect any of its major features and that I'll get into in a bit. It has only one pair of left and right ROCA inputs for receiving line level signals like the output of a preamp, a console, CD players, TVs, computers and um, other consumer electronics and in addition to that it doesn't have a built-in preamp so you need an external preamp if you wish to connect it to any device that doesn't have put up to line level like um, a turntable that doesn't have a built-in preamp. Next to the RCA inputs are two pairs of 4mm binding posts for left and right speaker outputs. You can connect bare speaker wires to these as well as banana plugs. Furthermore, this amplifier can drive speakers with impedance value from as low as 2 ohms and up to 8 ohms and that's pretty impressive. The maximum power for each output is 300 watts but here's the catch. First, there's no indication of how much impedance the amp delivers that amount of power into. So I assume it's 2, two ohms because the maximum impedance gets delivered into the least uh, impedance value. Then secondly, uh, the power supply adapt adapter that comes in the box doesn't get you up to 300 watts. Um, if you need to take advantage of the full power the amplifier has to offer, you need a higher capacity adapter, one that can deliver 48 volts and 10 amps. But nonetheless, the power supply adapter that comes in the box is more than enough for most bookshelf speakers, so that should get you through. The final feature of the back panel is the port for the power adapter. It can accept anywhere from 18 to 48 volts of DC. There isn't much to the front panel. It has a unique power switch that looks like something salvaged from an aircraft's cockpit. I like it actually. There are three rotary controls here, all made from aluminum too. The bigger one is the volume control, while the other two are tone controls for treble and bass. There are no markings here and 12 o'clock doesn't necessarily mean flat EQ, so you have to use your ears to set this to taste. Yes, taste. These are some of the most satisfying knobs I've used. They are very sturdy and incredibly smooth. Overall, the build quality of this thing is an A plus in my book. Inside this casing is a Class D amplifier based around the TPE3255 chipset from Texas Instruments. The TPE3255 is a highly power efficient amplifier with a very low power stage idle loss below 2.5 watts. Now, it's a chip that is favored by most manufacturers and is used in many more expensive amplifiers. I put a link to the data sheet of the chip for those who are interested. Moving on to performance, the TB10D delivers a powerful sound with a low noise floor and in addition to that, it's incredibly silent when on standby, even with the volume turned off. It packs enough volume to fill a room with enough headroom to spare. The highest I've increased it is halfway. Any more will probably bring my neighbors to my door. The tone controls are very functional and exciting to use as well. In terms of sound quality, I'm really impressed with this amplifier. It has a pristine and a very detailed sound across the entire frequency spectrum, emphasizing the mid and the high frequencies. Now, I'm no audiophile, but I've listened to lots of excellent amplifiers and speakers, and this one holds up pretty well, um, especially when paired with very good set of speakers and it costs $80. The challenge I have with this device is that it only has one set of ROCA inputs. Now, I understand that this is primarily a product made for hi-fi audio, but I think the addition of a couple of other ports like a 3.5 millimeter um, auxiliary port or a pair of quarter-inch TRS jack ports will actually increase the or improve the versatility of this product. Speaking of versatility, I believe this device can be a helpful tool to both hi-fi audio enthusiasts and beginner sound engineers. Connect the output of a mixer to it and you can use it with any passive bookshelf speakers as a great practice setup. Overall, the Fossi Audio TB10D is an excellent amplifier that delivers great sound quality and awesome features in a very small package. 
Now, I'll recommend this to anyone who is seeking to probably get their first amplifier or you're just entering the audio space. I think this is a very good product that you should check out. Thank you for seeing this video till the end. I'm Kelvin. I'll see you in the next video.